getting some information he'll need to help him rebuild. I lost three pretty good sized buildings and, uh, and uh, fortunately my home's still there but it won't be able to be lived in for six months. Graham says his house has lots of soot and other fire related damage that'll take time to repair. In the meantime he'll start sifting through the damage thanks in part to a kit Sonoma County and Santa Rosa City employees handed out tonight. Burned homes are full of contaminants and stuff so it's really important that people utilize the PPE that we have so that they're not inhaling the ashes from the home. Unfortunately, this is a community that has experience with destructive wildfires. So along with the equipment like shovels and sifters, Maria Carrillo High School is also serving as a one-stop shop for other services to help people who may have lost important documents. Everything that they could need to get back on their feet and get moving forward. The recently lifted mandatory evacuation orders means many people are still likely just getting their first look at their homes and any damage. Don Graham says he's ready to start the cleanup, and the personal protective gear in the kit will be a big help. It's going to be some gloves and masks, and oh, actually even a full little white suit because uh, you know it's pretty ugly. I've been up to the site a few times, and it's just this fine ash. The cleanup kits can be picked up here at Maria Carrillo High School and two other sites in Sonoma County. They'll be available for the next week. In Santa Rosa, I'm Sergio Quintana, NBC Bay Area News.